Edmund Burke is uh, representing the coalition of E85 retailers, and we appreciate you being here. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you very much for inviting me, Senator. I appreciate it. Uh, my name is Ed Burke. I'm chairman of the board of Dennis K. Burke, Inc. We're a very large family-owned distributor in New England, Boston, just outside of Boston, Chelsea, Massachusetts. And we distribute biodiesel for 10 years now, just starting up on E85 and trying to refill it. But I, I do have capability of loading it on trucks and uh, along with General Motors, I've filled a lot of vehicles that are going to various fairs demonstrating the vehicles. Uh, the coalition of E85 real retailers is relatively new, just formed to uh, try to solve some of the, uh, the issues involved. Are, uh, some of them are fire safety, and don't get me wrong, some, some of my problems are, are not really complaints. Health and safety is certainly a priority. We need the UL certification or similar on some of the equipment. Uh, but I wanted to address, we have some conflicts, like EPA has recommended that states give waivers for stage two, which is a vapor recovery phenomenon, but all the flex fuel vehicles are equipped to handle vapors, and it's, you know, 20 grand and a lot of time for one little pump. Uh, I'm one-tenth the size of North Dakota, which was referenced earlier. Massachusetts is one-tenth the size of North Dakota. And to my knowledge, I'll be the first retail outlet running in the Northeast, never mind Massachusetts. And we have plenty. I own an E85 uh, Chevy Impala. We have an avalanche on loan from General Motors. So there's a lot of frustration. And it, again, it's a harder turnkey operation than was biodiesel because we're, we're dealing with a much more flammable product that has uh, various mechanical issues as well as the uh, health and safety issues. Mostly I'd be pro some kind of incentives. I liked the discussion earlier on the loan guarantee kind of, kinds of things as opposed to individual mandates. I've had peers that want to have one standard for biodiesel blends across the country, and it's just fundamentally crazy because south of the Mason-Dixon line, cold weather is much less of an issue than it is in you know half the states that are represented in this room. And I'd save the rest of the time for uh, questions and dialogue. Thank you very much again.